Do you think it's possible for Netflix to be productive? What an interesting question. What if I told you that if you are an English learner, the answer is yes. That is awesome. Today at Fluent U, we have narrowed down eight Netflix TV shows and movies that you can use to improve your English. Wow, that's a lot, huh? <laughs> First, let's look at some great bingeable, that is, you can watch lots of episodes at once, TV series from Netflix. Stranger Things is a show that takes place in the 1980s in Hawkins, Indiana. Something is coming. Something hungry for blood. Hawkins is a small U.S. town situated next to a secret government facility where the government has been conducting dangerous experiments. You will fly through every episode full of suspense and colorful characters, especially the gang of local teenagers who try to solve the mystery. Come on. For English language learners, you will pick up a lot of vocabulary having to do with science fiction, education, and more. Oh, Flo, we've discussed this. Mornings are for coffee and contemplation. You will also learn a lot of slang, which the teens frequently use during the show. Me mean 10. Over and out. By the way, if you like learning English with Netflix, you'll love Fluent U. Fluent U takes authentic English videos like commercials, music videos, and inspiring talks and turns them into learning experiences. With Fluent U, you'll have access to endless videos and audio with interactive subtitles, plus great educational features like flashcards, a built in video dictionary, and quizzes. Fluent U will help you have more fun and learn faster. You can listen to native speakers pronounce words, phrases, and sentences and practice repeating them out loud. You won't have to wonder about how a word is used because you can tap on any word to look it up and see examples from other videos. In fact, with its video dictionary, you can look up almost any word that you want to know more about. You can even listen to audio clips of example sentences. Sounds awesome, right? Give Fluent U a try on desktop or with Fluent U's app for your iOS or Android device. Click on the link in the description for a free trial of Fluent U. Now, let's learn about a hit Netflix show set in Britain. Since its debut in 2016, The Crown has quickly become a popular show and is perfect for those who like drama and history. You my wife or my queen? I am both and a strong man will be able to kneel to both. I will not kneel before my This wife. show follows the captivating story of the reign of Queen Elizabeth II, which began in the 1940s. You will learn English vocabulary of all kinds, especially about culture and history. This new Elizabethan age comes at a time when mankind... This is also the perfect choice for learners interested in developing a British accent or learning formal academic English. The crown must win. Must always win. For those looking for a dark comedy, a series of unfortunate events is perfect for you. Hello, hello, hello. The show is based on a book series, so if you like the show, you can also practice reading. In my library, you will find all the answers that you need. In the story, Count Olaf is a crazy villain trying to steal the fortune of three orphans named Violet, Klaus, and Sunny. When the sand runs out, that fortune is mine. I didn't realize the sand went so quickly. I bought it online. The kids are really smart and have to handle a lot of strange and dark events. This man is really Count Olaf in disguise. Aren't you smart? English learners will benefit from exposure to complicated vocabulary that is defined within the show. Life is a conundrum of esoterica. Literally, the narrator or characters will mention a difficult word and then define it for the audience. Perished means killed. We know what perished means. If you want to remember these recommendations for later, click on the link in the description to get a free PDF of the Netflix recommendations in this video. It's a great way to make sure you add these shows to your list in Netflix. At the very top of people who are making food. Next, let's look at Chef's Table. For him, flavors are like colors. Each episode of this unique food show focuses on a different culinary genius from around the world. I had to be the best chef in India. People thought I was mad. 
viewers will get a glimpse into the lives and food creations of these famous chefs. Doctors couldn't tell me that I would ever be able to taste again. How can you be a chef and not be able to taste? The series is great for those who like documentaries or anything food related, and learners will gain access to loads of great food and dining vocabulary. It's not just about food. It's about something more. I'm Mickey. I'm Gus. Next, let's look at the simply named series, Love. My mom always tells me I should date a Midwestern boy. Because they're really sweet and honest. The story follows nice guy Gus and rebellious Mickey as they navigate the ups and downs of their modern relationship. <laughs> You're like a 40-year-old, 12-year-old. Love is a great series for people who like comedies and romance. In addition, the realistic characters and situations have received many positive reviews from top critics. Why did I throw out all my Blu-rays? It's okay, buddy. You're just tired. Language learners can expect to get a lesson in the nuances of English humor and gain exposure to a wide range of vocabulary. Maybe we could pretend like nothing happened and see if anyone notices. That's my whole philosophy in life. The next few recommendations are Netflix original movies. Released in 2018, the Guernsey Literary and Potato Peel Pie Society is an emotional drama. We lost the right to each other, weren't we? The film encompasses romance, history, and the power of reading. The story follows Lily James, a writer from London who discovers the secret behind the formation of a literary club on the island of Guernsey. She challenged the conventional thinking of an entire society. The story takes place just after the German occupation of the island during World War II. <laughs> Viewers of this film will get to listen to a variety of British accents. Are you on your way, darling? W well... Uh, you even have the opportunity to practice reading alongside the show with the book on which the film is based. It's possible for us to already belong to someone before we've met them. You're the only one that meant anything to me. Next, let's take a look at the romance movie Irreplaceable You. Happy engagement, you guys. <laughs> Cheers! Hey. Yeah. The story follows Abby, who has just been diagnosed with cancer. I have some difficult news. The In order to take care of her fiancé, she decides to choose a girlfriend for him to date after she dies. Hey, too freaky, too pretty. I decided to cut out gluten. Okay. For English learners, this film will expose you to the American accent and introduce you to medical vocabulary. It's especially good because all the characters speak clearly. I thought if I planned your whole future, it wouldn't hurt so much not to be a part of it. Why do you think there is a need for women in space? Last, released in 2018, Mercury 13 is a documentary that reveals the true story of a group of women who were denied spaceflight in 1961 because of their gender. Jerry Cobb and her team were ready and eager to fly when the program was suddenly halted. No explanation was ever given to them. Mercury 13 is great for those who like documentaries, stories about women's rights, and historical pieces. And they never gave up. To this day, they uh, still are looking for a ride. They want to go in space. Plus, you will learn tons of vocabulary words about science and history. Someone has to start the fight to change the opinion. Someone has to lead the way. It's amazing how many different types of movies and series one company can create. Which one are you most excited to watch? If you liked this video, be sure to subscribe to Fluent U and hit the notification button so you never miss more great English learning content. Now it's time to butter some popcorn, grab a blanket, turn on your favorite series or movie, and get ready for some super entertaining English lessons. Thanks for watching and see you next time. Okay.